welcome to the co-op zone. In this video we're going to review some of the co-op features and some basics around Diablo 4. I will touch base on the basics, the co-op goods, the co-op bads, some gameplay and functionality and then I will give a quick summary. Diablo 4 can be played across the usual game consoles. The co-op zone we have tested it on PlayStation 4. Now let's just dig straight into it, yeah? The co-op goods. What we liked about Diablo 4, the invitation system was not too complicated. We've made a short video about how to do it, if you need help, but the function is pretty straightforward. Now there's a certain thing we've noticed. If your friend gets too far ahead, he's doing a mission, then what you can do is you can teleport to him. This will happen automatically if your friend is engaging in the mission and he needs you to be there to progress. Now, to the gameplay, still sticking to the co-op, there is possibilities to be really strategic by choosing certain classes that fits each other's needs and each other's skills. So if one is a beginner, you can choose a class that is less difficult and more powerful. We found the Necromancer to be really powerful, so that could be a way to go. But if you want some more tips and advice around which classes fits together while playing co-op, go and check out our video. Another good thing about the co-op side of this game is that you can share your wins with each other. Weapons, shields, etc. You can do this either through the menu or you can drop them on the floor for your friend to pick it up. Now there's obviously a little risk that other people can pick them up for your friend, so be sure to do it in a safe place. Some people are saying that the game is way too easy while playing co-op, they might have a point, but I think Diablo is focusing on the entertainment and not the difficulty level when you play in co-op. But we certainly have struggled certain times against the huge bosses but eventually we did get through. Another good thing about the co-op functions with Diablo 4 is that you can couch co-op. Very good. Pop up at your friends physically, just play, have fun. Now into a few negatives about the co-op side. Like most games you play co-op, you have to do an initial mission before the function enables. But we don't see why you can't do that together, and especially when the intro mission is so long as this one was. Why not allow your players to engage with each other from the get-go? Now, we're not sure about this one, it could be good, it could be bad, let us know what you think, but you can skip the story during the missions. You're not watching the same story at the same time. If your friend went along and talked to the character before you, he or she will start the story before you. So you might have finished it while your friend is just started to watch the cinematic, but we wish that this was communicated to the players. So a little pop-up message just saying your friend has skipped this video or has already finished it would be very helpful. Now the gameplay of Diablo 4 itself was really enjoyable. The skills you could learn, the weapons, all the upgrades, the monsters you fought, everything. But again, we're not hard to please. Now that said, we can comfortably state that this game was very well made. There are enough missions to keep you busy and to challenge you, even though some of them might be a bit too easy during co-op mode as we mentioned. But do note, you can play the game on two different difficulty levels as also mentioned. If you have finished all the missions, there are plenty of other challenges like side missions or new characters to try. Now the skill tree is very fascinating, you can always reset it which we really like and then you can go new different ways and challenge yourself. So if you went fire one time, you can go ice the next time. Maybe you want to go tank. Playing co-op, you do tend to skip most of the story, so you might not get everything. But if you do play it single player or you have a lot of time with a friend, watch through the storylines as they are really really interesting. Not the best graphics, especially on PlayStation 4, but we did enjoy the storyline in the end. We at the co-op zone will give this 4 out of 5. Now thank you so much guys for listening in, if you enjoyed this review more will come up, we still play our Diablo 4 live streams, usually every Sunday, tune in for that, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, until next time, adios.